Hello, welcome back to Algebra. We're going to continue learning to add these real numbers on a number line. We're just doing some additional problems and I want to take this opportunity to point out a few interesting things along the way. So what if we have negative 1 plus another number which is negative 6? And we'll do these a little bit more rapidly than last time since you kind of understand the big picture. Here we have this problem. Now we're going to use a number line so I will produce a number line here for you. Notice that we have 0 here in the center, these are the positive numbers, these are the negative numbers. So we have take the first number that we're adding together, which is a negative 1, and we put a dot on the number line in that location. So there's the value of negative 1. Now here's the deal. We're adding to it a negative number. So because we're adding a negative, we're going to be moving to the left, 6 units. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I'll stick an arrow because that's where we end up. And so that's going to be a dot, a big fat dot right there. So the destination where we end up is negative 7, and because of that, the answer to this problem is negative 7. That's the final answer. So I want to point out a couple of things. You don't need to memorize these now, but as we do these problems, I'm going to show you a couple things because in the next section, we're going to write down a list of rules to help you do this kind of addition without using this number line. This is kind of just to tell you what's happening. Negative, when we add negative numbers, we go this way. When we add positive numbers, we go this way. It's a visual aid, but you're not going to use this number line for most of your problems. So notice, I just want to tell you that when we have a negative number, and we add to it another negative number, we actually get a negative answer, and that's always going to be the case. It's kind of like if you add positive numbers together, 3 plus 4 is going to give you 7. Both numbers being positive, you'll be going to the right, and you'll always have a positive answer. When you start with a negative number, and you add to it a negative number, you're always going to be going more negative, and so the answer is 